Hello, everyone. Hi. Welcome. My name is Lori Pasteryak, and I wanted to welcome you to the virtual Fairfield Museum. So my job at the museum is Director of Interpretation, which means I get to work with an awesome team of people to help create and connect opportunities with you to share all sorts of content through programs, exhibits, and other events like I'm doing here today. So right now, the museum is closed to the public, but our staff is working to bring you these fun new live virtual adventures and providing lots of content online. At this point, please consider supporting the museum through a membership or a donation. We are a private nonprofit and depend upon the support of people like you. You can find out about how to give and about all of our virtual museum offerings online at our website, www.fairfieldhistory.org. Thanks. So again, my name is Lori Pastryak, and I am the Director of Interpretation here at the Fairfield Museum. Thanks for joining me. Say hi if you're here. Give me a like or a love. I love content and feedback and questions. So at any point during my talk today or in tour, if you have any questions or comments, please definitely either enter them in the event or on the live video. I'll be happy to get to them afterwards. So today, I'm live in our permanent gallery called Creating Community. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about, number one, where I am in the museum, in the gallery, and in the exhibit, but also spotlighting this old thing, and very large thing, behind me, um, and a mural called Black Rock about 1810 by Westport artist Robert Landon. So, if you have any questions about where I am, how you can see more stuff about where I am, definitely please um, leave me a comment. Um, anything else you want to hear about in the future from this gallery, I'm always happy to, to, um, to uh, answer any questions. So today, in creating community, I'm actually standing in the middle part of our permanent gallery. This is the area where we talk a lot about the 19th, 19th century. So everything pretty much after the American Revolution, so 1800, all the way up to almost World War I, so about 1910. During this period, Fairfield and a lot of other communities across America went through a significant amount of change. A lot of that change depended upon technology and where you were in the world. The technology that really was happening and what this mural portrays about 1810 is access to other parts of the world, so technology. In 1810, what this mural is portraying, people were only traveling by ships or by sea or by wagon or by horse. There were no cars, no automobiles. There weren't really trains yet either. So shipping and the ocean provided a, an amazing opportunity to connect with and trade and barter and sell all sorts of goods from all around the world. America, especially Fairfield and Black Rock, in particular, was connected to a global trade world. And this area, especially here in Fairfield, was heavily impacted by that connection, being that Black Rock was one of the few deep water ports that existed in Connecticut. We had access to the Long Island Sound, which means that this area had access to goods. Also means this area had access to sell all sorts of goods. So in the early 19th century, Black Rock was a very bustling port. There were thousands of people coming through, bringing new things, selling new things. And that is what this painting, this mural behind me really celebrates, is that history. However, the mural itself is not from 1810. It was actually painted in the 1940s by an artist named Robert Lambden, who came to Westport in about 1918. He was a, a Works Progress Administration artist, which means he was put back to work by the government as an artist throughout the 1930s in order to help support the, the community. Um, he was a muralist. He was an amazing painter, as you can see by this brightly lit mural behind me. And he was also really involved in the mural society in across America. However, by the 1940s, the WPA ended. And there was a local bank in town here in Black Rock. 
It was on the corner of Fairfield and Brewster Streets, if you know your Bridgeport and Fairfield geography. The building is still there today. The BlackRock Bank and Trust was looking for a muralist to help paint and celebrate their history in BlackRock. Robert Landon, as a local artist from Westport, took advantage of that and actually created and researched here when we were the Fairfield Historical Society in another building. He actually took, spent a few months researching in the Fairfield Historical Society BlackRock's history. By the 1940s, the end of the 1940s, 48 to be exact, he spent several months also painting this mural in the BlackRock Bank and Trust. Now, that painting actually hung there for about 70 years. And by um, several kind of changes over time by acquisitions and as the banks went out of business and, and, and were bought out by others, um, the BlackRock Bank and Trust actually became Bank of America. And in 2018, the Fairfield Museum and others came together to help take this painting off the wall um, in, and the um, owner donated that to the museum here. And we took on a long conservation and restoration project, which was made possible by lots of wonderful donors, over 70 in fact, as well as Bank of America to help the preservation and restoration of this mural. Now, that was no simple task, and it involved a lot of teamwork and a lot of support and a lot of time. And over the course of several months, this mural itself came down from the bank's wall, and it was transported up to the Williamstown Art Conservation Center, where it was actually cleaned and restored and conserved by was what was an amazing conservation institute and individuals who worked there. The painting then was shipped out and brought here to the museum through a wall, in fact, and hung up on this wall. And it was actually unveiled in June of 2019, less than a year ago. Now, the painting itself is a really interesting piece. Uh, one, because it's really big. It's eight feet high by 20 feet long. It actually hangs, if you can see me, more than eight feet off the ground. And it actually almost reach, reaches the ceiling here in the museum. There are several things happening in the painting, in the mural, that Robert Landon really wanted to convey. Now, it's portraying about 1810. During this time, Black Rock was a very busy port. Um, it was probably this colorful, maybe not this clean, uh, and a lot of goods and um, trade goods are coming in and out. You have a ship in the harbor all the way here to the left. You have probably a harbor master or customs officer working with a ship owner or ship captain to basically define what's happening you're in Black Rock. Perhaps maybe this is our um, beloved Samuel Smedley as the customs officer marking down the trade that was coming into Black Rock Harbor or going out. And you also have probably markets, warehouses, ship chandlery, probably maybe a bakery over there that's happening and people coming and going. Now the interesting about this mural is it really has a loving depiction of what 1810 looked like in Black Rock. Do I think it was that clean? Probably not. Was everyone in that good of shape? You can actually see like defined calves on a couple of these gentlemen in the photograph or in the mural. And also, there was probably a much more diverse population working on the ships and on the ports. About 15 to 20% of people who were serving aboard ships and working at ports of call in, across the globe were people of color. So this is a very kind of um, idealistic, it seems, and uh, clean, we'll call it, go with, um, version of what a port looked like during 1810, during that first half of the 19th century. You know, it's, there's no bugs, there's no nothing flying around here. It's very colorful, it's very beautiful. But one really interesting thing in this mural itself is at the center is there a lighthouse. 
Now, the Fairweather Lighthouse um, and the Black Rock Lighthouse, that's um, currently, of course, out offshore here in Black Rock, was built later on. This, this painting itself, this mural, is depicting 1810, which means that lighthouse probably wouldn't have been there. In fact, it wasn't there at that time. This lighthouse that he's depicting in this mural that Lambden depicted is actually built in 1833 later on, about 20, 25 years later after what he's depicting in time. Now, the choice to actually keep that lighthouse in the painting and include it, actually we, because the bank in which the mural hung on the wall of, their emblem and their logo included the Black Rock Lighthouse. Thank you again for joining me here on Facebook Live. If you have any particular questions or concerns, or anything else that you'd like to know about the museum as well as the mural itself. There's a lot more information both about Robert Landon as the artist who has several other murals in that in Westport uh, in the state of here in Connecticut and also a lot more information about the conservation of the painting thanks to Williamstown Art Conservation Center. I can always supply those details in the comments and anything that you can and, and anything you else that you want to know. We also have um, here in the museum in this gallery lots of information about shipping during the 19th century that we'd love to help provide you as well. I'd like to shout, shout a special thank you to all of the donors that supported this organization. Um, the uh, and the conservation of this mural. Over 70 people helped do that. And of course, as an organization, as a nonprofit, we can't, we can't continue without the support of our community. And this is one of those things that it takes a village to do. The mural was an expensive conservation project and the museum, along with the community, several donors and Bank of America, as well as the Black Rock Community Council, helped out significantly in making this possible and a spotlight in our creating community exhibition. So you can, again, my name is Lori Pastriak and the museum is happy to be able to stay connected with you during this time. So please post any questions, send any comments, let me know what else you want to see, old things that we have in the museum, happy to share any info. You can reach out to us here on Facebook, also on Twitter and Instagram, or visit our website at fairfieldhistory.org to discover more exciting events to come. We hope you can join us, invite all of your friends and family, and we'll have an awesome online community. Thank you. Bye.